It's Saturday, June 11th, 2011. I'm Kevin McShann, and this is the McShann Sports Beat Report. Every day, baby, when the sun go down, I get with my friends and I begin to clown. I don't care what the people are thinking. I ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. I just take a little bit every now and then. But you're so high. Man, you gotta be shaking yourself. Oh, come on, man. Y'all gotta be Come home last night, all lush, baby getting the fuss, I say honey hush, I don't care what the people are thinking, I ain't drunk, I'm just drinking, but you're so high, I ain't drunk, I know y'all ain't drunk man, why y'all do this like that, I just had it for man, but you're so high, what? Oh, no, I'm not. Man, I don't know why y'all talking about me like this. You only get so many cracks at a second chance before your glaciers of opportunities eventually turn into an iceberg. And for Michigan Wolverines, wide receiver Daryl Stoneham is treading on thin ice when it comes to his future in Ann Arbor after he was sentenced Friday to two years probation for operating a vehicle while visibly impaired. Stoneham was given a suspended sentence on Friday, which could possibly turn into a full year in jail if he violates the terms of his probation, which also includes daily breathalyzer tests. The troubled Wolverines receiver just can't seem to stay on the right side of the law. On Thursday, Donham was ticketed for driving with a suspended license, and new Michigan head coach Brady Hoke has given Stoneham a starter for former Wolverines head coach Rich Rodriguez last year an indefinite suspension, and his status with the program has not changed. In his junior season in 2010, Stoneham participated in all 13 games. He had 49 receptions for 633 yards, an average of 12.9 yards per catch. He also hauled in four touchdowns. For his career, Stoneham has played in 36 games he has 76 receptions for 1,008 yards, an average of 13.3 yards per catch, and he also has a total of six career touchdowns. When Storm was a freshman in 2008, he was charged with operating a vehicle while intoxicated and driving with a suspended license. Storm ultimately ended up in jail last summer because he did not comply with the terms of his probation. The subject of Stoneham's sentence stuck in the craw of 97 won the tickets, Mike Valenti, who had some harsh words for the Michigan wideout. Valenti believes that Stoneham should be banned from participating in the program, and he took some time out on Friday to explain why. I want to bring something up. You know, again, I, Terry, you can be the fairness doctor. Because if, I, if I've handled it any differently with my school, go ahead. But what the hell is going on with Michigan wide receiver Daryl Stoneham? Now, first of all, I, I, I find it funny. He got sentenced uh, today. And um, the judge has a law degree from U of M. Her parents went to U of M. Her grandparents went to U of M. And Stoneham, who, mind you, had a probation violation and has had three run-ins with the law, Daryl Stoneham doesn't get any jail time. Daryl Stoneham got two years probation, which I find to be a complete joke. 
and I've said this before, uh, I think Brady Hoke should just do the right thing and get rid of him. I said the same thing. I wanted D'Antonio to get rid of Glenn Winston before he cracks on one skull. I, I wanted Chris Rucker gone. I didn't see the quality or, or need of bringing them back. I get a feeling right here what we're going to see is Brady Hoke pulling a John L. Smith. Let me take you back. John L. Smith knew he had problems. John L. Smith had a five-star, all-everything quarterback out of Mannheim, Pennsylvania, named Jeff Smoke. And Jeff Smoke represented a chance for John L. to get to a bowl game. It represented a chance to win games now, but he had to have them. And I remember going to all the practices and listening to John L. spin and spin and spin. We're going to make him earn. You know, we're handling it internally. Oh, I'm going to run steps at 5 in the morning. Don't want to hear any of it. It was ridiculous to bring Jeff back. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. Brady Hoke's going to do the same thing. That's my belief. Last I checked, it's America. I can feel that way. Brady Hoke knows I've got to win games. Brady Hoke knows that he's very thin at wide receiver. It's Stoneham and Roundtree and a lot of question marks. And if you take Stoneham out of that equation, I think you've got some major concerns at that position. He knows that Daryl Stoneham represents wins. It represents an easier transition for Denard. And I honestly believe that Daryl Stoneham might miss a game against Paducah State, and then he'll be reinstated. Now, once again, in the act of extreme fairness, because I don't want any handy asses calling this station and claiming bias, I rip Brian Kelly for how he handled Michael Floyd. Michael Floyd should be suspended, potentially for the season with Notre Dame, considering his off-the-field issues. Bottom line, you know why Brian Kelly's not going to get rid of Michael Floyd? You know why Michael Floyd's not going to miss any time at all, it sounds like? Because Brian Kelly needs to win and win big. Four lost seasons don't cut it. He needs Michael Floyd. Michael Floyd is arguably the second or third best receiver in the country. Brady Hope needs to win, and that's why Daryl Stoneham's going to play. I think the sentence is a joke. I think it's an absolute joke. To me, jail time needed. Stoneham has a problem. He's got a problem with authority. And he's got it's what it sounds like, a problem with something else. I don't like it. And if I'm Brady Hoke, I'm getting rid of the kid. I'm not going to tolerate that in my program. I'm going to set the standard. I'll be interested to see how Mr. Hokamania handles this. Because to me, hey, and I'm not going to hold it against Hoke. I, I just, I'm telling you right now, I don't think Hoke's any better than any other coach. He's going to bring this kid back and go play him. I'd be stunned if this kid missed games. Mind you, stoneham has been in trouble now three times. He's never missed a game. Hell, Stoneham got arrested, what was it, mid-season? He didn't miss a game. Rich Rob rolling him right out there. I think you take over a new program, you make a statement. But the Stoneham sentencing is goofy. Absolutely goofy. Now, Leo, look, last month, Stone posted a $500 bond expected to submit a breathalyzer test each morning by 8.30 to the Department of Public Safety. In court last month, Stone told Judge Julie Creel he'd been serving punishment through the Michigan football program. He said he wakes up at 4 a.m. to complete two-hour punishment workout. What do you mean, off-season training? That's what I call that. It's not a punishment. That's what you do for a living. Michigan coach Brady Oak has not indicated when or if Stoneham Sr. would return to the team. The all that is people is him giving himself room to bring him back and not miss any games. And even if he does, who are we kidding? Just like Michigan State's opener against Youngstown State is a scrimmage, whomever you open up with is an equal farce. This guy's had three problems. You know, he, he's had a DUI. He's been three months in jail in July. He had, he had probation violations. You know, to me, this is a kid that just doesn't get it. It's a kid that doesn't care. That's what this is. If I played for a great university, like the University of Michigan or Penn State or OSU, how about if I played for Middle Tennessee State? Everything's on the line for me. I'm going to go out, I'm going to get cranked, I'm going to drive drunk, then I'm going to violate my probation, then I'm going to violate my probation again. It doesn't work for me. Stoneham shouldn't play. So for all the fans who cried and yelled and screamed about Rucker, and I sat here and said, guys, I agree with you. I don't want him. I don't want him playing. There's the same thing with one of your boys. I don't think Stoneham should play football at U of M. But he will. You don't have that many wide receivers. That's the name of the game. Let's keep an eye on it. See what Hoke's made of. See how he wants to handle it. I think this is just like John L. when he took over. John L. took over a dumpster fire. And John L. needed talent. Jeff Smoker was talent. Stone him his talent. They often tell us that past behavior is a good indicator of what's going to happen in the future. And in the case of Daryl Stoneham, the bottom line on his story is simple. This is a young man that doesn't understand or appreciate the opportunity he's been given to play football at the University of Michigan. Such a prestigious university is a privilege and not a right. And it's clear to all interested observers that Stoneham has a drinking problem. 
I'm all for giving a guy a second chance. But if he's not willing to help himself, why should the olive branch be extended to him? That's only a question Daryl Stodham can answer in his case. But one thing's for certain. If he doesn't clear up his drinking problem, his days as a member of the Maze in Blue could be numbered sooner rather than later. Kevin McShan, McShan, Sports Beat, Report.